Well, when it comes to fake news about the 2020 election, people who use Facebook were more likely to be reading it, as opposed to people who use any other social media platform. That's the finding of a newly released study out of Washington State University. Here's Tim Gordon with the details. Leading up to and right on through November of 2020, information was flying and plenty to choose from was fake. And a big concern for people administering one of the key components of our democracy, our elections. Here's Multnomah County Elections Director Tim Scott at the time. Misinformation and disinformation are the biggest threat uh, to the election that we have very little control over. Now results from a new study by Washington State University shows Facebook was by far the main social media website where people were likely to read fake news. The study relied on three online surveys, two before the presidential election between incumbent Donald Trump and challenger Joe Biden, and one after the election by actual voters. It indicates that fake news consumption and political persuasion were the primary forces driving doubt in the integrity of the vote counting process. The vast majority of doubters identified as conservatives, and those conservatives were more likely to find fake news through Facebook than other people. The reason? Facebook's system for getting users to come back for more. The algorithms were used to confirm people's biases that they wanted to believe, and, and the more that they read these bias reinforcing websites, the, the more likely they were to feel like, yeah, I, I believe it because I, I'm reading it in these news articles. WSU professor and study co-author Robert Crossler says those who relied on Facebook to feed their news diet often got disinformation from stories not connected to mainstream news media sources that sowed doubt in the election process, as opposed to those who went directly to established news sites. One could argue it's all part of the landscape leading up to January 6th and the attack on the U.S. Capitol. The key takeaway from the study? I would encourage people who primarily get their information from Facebook to look for other sources of, of information for news. And so kind of taking control of that so you make the decisions of, of where you're getting news would be a, a good recommendation. Tim Gordon, KGW News.